Hi there, Sam here from EasyTradingSignals.com, and um, yeah, I posted a uh, an article about uh, the most profitable uh, candlestick pattern, and um, I got some questions about that, and I realized that I didn't do any sort of a video walkthrough, um, so that's what I'm going to do. But if you haven't read the article yet, it's on uh, on our website, EasyTradingSignals.com. And um, at the moment, it's on the recent posts, most profitable candlestick pattern that you need to know about. All right, so uh, the most profitable and powerful candlestick patterns are um, these ones: Harami, engulfing, hammer, piercing, dark cloud, and shooting star. Um, the problem is that for a lot of traders. It's often difficult to remember all of these, um, and there's literally like over 30 uh, candlestick patterns, um, but not all of them are really effective. These ones are the most effective ones, and there are certain conditions under which they are particularly powerful. So that's what we're going to look at. The article actually shows you um, how this works and how it all collapses down to a single pattern, and that is the hammer. So, um, what I'm referring to here is combining two candlesticks into one. Now, if that sounds difficult, it's not really all that difficult. So, see if you can follow along with me, and then we'll hop onto a real chart, a live chart, and uh, and you can you know follow along with me and see what I'm doing there. But um, let's look at the Arami, right? So, uh, a candlestick is made up of the open, close, high and low, right? So, um, if this is a, a bear candle, right? We have open at the top, there. Then we have the next candle, close, here because it was a bull candle, right? So, open, close. So instead of looking at one candle, we're taking two together. Open, close, and if you put those together, and you take the highs and lows, look at that, you've got a hammer. And the same with engulfing. Uh, open, close, gives you a hammer, and of course the hammer. Uh, what about the piercing one? This always, uh, this one, was got me previously until I actually figured out how, how to do this. Um, once again, open, close, hammer. Easy, right? And the same goes for um, for the reverse. So your reverse harami, um, open, close, it's a hammer or a shooting star. But hey, it's called a Thor's hammer. You know, plummeting down. Uh, engulfing, same thing. Um, open, close, hammer, or shooting star. So inverse hammer, shooting star. Dark cloud, same thing. Open, close, poof. there you go, hammer, shooting star. Um, so it really means that if if you look at, at these patterns together like that, it's super easy to identify uh, a hammer or a shooting star. And they're really powerful when they occur close to Bollinger Bands, the top or bottom um, of a Bollinger Band. So let's look at, um, at a chart and see if we can find some of these. Now, uh, often, you know, these patterns um, are pretty short-lived in the sense that you might just get a bar or two uh, following this um, particular signal that will actually obey the rule. Uh, so you need to be careful about it, and what I do to kind of make it a little bit easier, <coughs> excuse me, is I add something like a like stochastics. Uh, I like five, three, four on stochastics. Uh, it smooths things out a little bit more for you, um, and I kind of keep an eye on that together with looking at Bollinger bands, which you can put at the default twenty, um, and uh, you know that gives you a really good setup. So, just a quick word on Bollinger Bands. So, Bollinger Bands basically gives you the standard deviation 
uh, of you know where you're trading so what that means is it tells you whether the market is currently in a position where um, it hasn't been during the last 20 or so trading bars okay uh, yes or no that's kind of what, what it gives you it's not um, 100% uh, a true standard deviation but it gives you uh, a, a kind of a good feel for where the market is heading and whether you're in territory where it hasn't been uh, trading recently so one or two things can happen in that case you can either bounce off on it or continue you might say well duh you know that's always the case but when it comes to the outer bands of a Bollinger Band you have a particular circumstance where uh, you can use this to your advantage and that's what you're trying to do you're trying to use the market to your advantage um, instead of you know just getting crushed by it right so without further ado let's take a look at this so we're looking for hammers uh, close to the uh, bowling bands or uh, we're looking for a hammer that we can construct close to um, one of those two and at the same time uh, it would be preferable if uh, our stochastics actually uh, bore that out for us and told us yes it looks like we're heading in the right direction so what I mean by that uh, by that I mean that the stochastics uh, should be uh, preferably uh, you know close to 80 or 20 and it should be um, you know the same as the actual signal so positive or negative um, so let's look at some some examples so um, I'm going to try and zoom in here okay so uh, this is not probably not ideal but hey it's right in front of me so let's uh, let's draw in some uh, some some lines over here by the way uh, that looks like nice little uh, hammer potentially forming over there uh, but let's do this I'm going to draw in here okay so um, start right end so here we have ourselves a little hammer and due to form the next one actually was uh, an up bar but we can see over here um, on the stochastics side um, although it was relatively low it really didn't give us any indication of where it was heading so let's just turn that off okay so here's another one so here we have um, clearly a There you go. That's clearly a hammer, and it's cutting through uh, the bottom of the, the Bollinger. Uh, stochastics down here is uh, fairly low, so um, I'm expecting this uh, next bar to move up. So um, we can maybe just indicate that over here. Let's see if I can draw something in. Oops, all the arrows now. Here we go. So uh, we call that one, right? Okay, so let's look at another one. Um, okay, so there's a, another hammer, a little bit of a fat hammer. Um, this one over here. A little bit of fat hammer, but it did head down. So that's good. Um, and also here the stochastics was a little bit dicey but you can see that there's a fairly narrow trading range so it's not a lot of power in the market so um, you know it obeys <coughs> okay so here we have a couple um, that I would call uh, problematic um, but you know if you look at your stochastics down here which should keep you out of trouble you can see that it's fairly flat there's no you know real uh, energy in the market uh, that would indicate I, I must say this one here I probably would have taken um, but hey it's not perfect it just gives you really good indication 
All right, so uh, people might say, about what about what about this? Th this is a shooting star, right? This one over here. This is a shooting star, right? Isn't it? Yes, it is, but it's in the wrong way, and it's at the bottom um, of the the Bollinger. We want this tail to be the other way around. Uh, so I would not have taken this. Um, even though you know the stochastics here, uh, you know, shows that it's negative, it is still at the close to the bottom, so it's close to being um, oversold. Um, so I would have ignored that. This one um, is uh, more of a um, a potential one, although it it doesn't uh, conform with uh, exactly what we're looking for here. So. Um, I'm going to uh, skip on both of those. Here we have another one. Look at this. <clears throat> so these would have been difficult to spot if you if you didn't know about this little trick. So we have open, close, right? So open and close. There you go, and we have stochastics coming out of uh, oversold and heading up, and the market agrees with you. Right, so that's good. Let's move on. All right, so here's another one. Uh, we can see here that there was some resistance on this level over here. See there's some resistance because uh, both of these kind of end up in the same uh, spot. And here we have uh, open, close, right? So once again, and the market heads up. And at the same time we have uh, agreement here in the stochastics. So uh, once again another good one over there. Um, this one should be a no-brainer, right? Stochastics good, it's at the top, it's over um, overbought and there we go. A little thin hammer but nevertheless the market hits down quite well. Uh, then here we have another one. We have a low point here on uh, stochastics, um, and remember our little trick: um, open, close, oops, and it's close to um, to the bottom of the Bollinger, and it's heading up. So once again, another good one over there. So, you know, uh, this is actually pretty cool because you can keep on doing this whole freaking day long. Um, and you'll keep on seeing this pattern popping up over and over and over. Uh, and look at this, this little uh, nice one over here. Um, it's completely outside. Um, and we have stochastics in a good spot. That's just a clear hammer. And it heads up. Um, Alright, so you know it's it's pretty cool. Um, and this pattern keeps on repeating itself over and over and over. And um, it is really, really um, useful uh, to see um, see this on a live chart and know how to trade. So I hope that, that has helped you and um, that uh, you'll be able to use that in your in your live trading. Because it's always a good idea to keep uh, an eye out uh, for these type of patterns. And as you can see over here, um, we call this correctly, and uh, this is clearly uh, a win. So uh, hey, I hope uh, hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helps you in your trading. And as always, trade easy.